Hi, and welcome back. So we are in the Tesla. We've got another software update. This is update 2023.32.9. I'm gonna go over it quickly with you and show you what we got. Okay, so as you can see, all it says is version improvements. So they've changed from saying bug fixes to version improvements. And it says this release includes the most recent update for your vehicle and your region. Uh, and I just wanted to talk to you quick about what uh, one update that I did know. So in this family of updates, 2023.32, it was right before this one, I noticed one of the uh, things they changed, which is really great, I like it a lot, is that, so when you're driving and you want to adjust the volume, you know how you can use the control wheel on the steering wheel, you can adjust the volume of your music or whatever you're listening to. And if you're navigating, and when they speak and you adjust, use the scroll wheel, you can also adjust the volume of the navigation voice. Well, uh, I used to all the time do that and accidentally set the navigation to all the way zero, and then I couldn't hear the nav voice. The next time I would navigate, I'd end up missing a turn because I didn't realize I was setting it all the way down. Well, one of the fixes they did in this family of updates was now, for the volume, you can do whatever you want of like music. But for navigation voice, you can only go to a certain point downward. You can't go off with the volume. So you will always hear your navigation voice. That's one of the un undocumented changes that I noticed in the car that you don't, you can't accidentally, you know, reduce the navigation voice volume to zero using the scroll wheel. Uh, they fix that. I love that because I've done that accidentally more than once. You can still go into settings of navigation if you don't want the voice and you can set it to zero. But using the scroll wheel on the fly, they fixed it. In my opinion, it is a big fix. You cannot go to zero anymore and you can't accidentally reduce your navigation voice volume to zero. So that's it. Not much in this update. Again, that was in this family of updates. Uh, I'm hoping they fix. I've been having trouble with my phone not Bluetoothing immediately, and I have to go. It works as a key, a Bluetooth key, but for uh, music and, and connection, it doesn't always Bluetooth right away, and I have to go in and connect it, which I don't like. Hopefully that's fixed in this update. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't yet, click that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.